Welcome back to Speed Reels. Today I will show you a 2018 fantasy movie titled How Long Will I Love You? Xiao Zhao is a young lady who lives in 2018 and works at a watch selling shop. She was trying to get a buyer for her father's old house but had been unable to get a buyer. She was so desperate to get a buyer for this house that she would set up blind dates with men, and on the dates, she would promise to marry them if they bought the house. However, all her attempts were unsuccessful. Lu is a 25-year-old young man who lives in 1999 and is trying to get an investor for his property plan. However, like Xiao Zhao, he has been unsuccessful in his attempts. Both Xiao Zhao and Lu went home that night, sad and in deep thought. They both lived in the same apartment, although Lu lived in 1999 and Xiao Zhao lived in 2018. However, something happened that night that would change their lives forever. Strange things started happening to both of them. What Lu was doing in 1999 started to interfere with what Xiao Zhao was doing in 2018. Also, what Xiao Zhao was doing in 2018 started interfering with what Lu was doing in 1999. They both didn't understand what was happening and soon, they both went to bed and fell asleep. Unknown to them, their rooms merged that night, and they were in for a surprise the next morning. The next morning, Xiao Zhao threw her hand around lazily, and it landed on Lu's cheek. Both her and Lu were surprised, Xiao Zhao started beating Lu to get out of her house as she believed he had broken into her house. Soon, they came to realize that somehow, their rooms had merged, but they still believed that it was only the wall separating their rooms that had vanished. However, rain started falling on Xiao Zhao's side of the room while it still remained sunny on Lu's side. This drew their suspicions, and Lu opened his side of the door that had also merged. Xiao Zhao followed him and discovered that she was in 1999 as things were a bit different. To confirm their suspicions, Xiao Zhao also opened her side of the door, and Lu also discovered that it was 2018, 19 years after the current year he was in. This made them realize that somehow, their doors had become time-traveling portals. They then tried to open the door together, but it made their rooms merge more. Lu quickly went to rescue his property plan design that was in a cupboard squeezing between their rooms and, in the process, threw away some flowers that belonged to Xiao Zhao. Xiao Zhao told him they were important to her and rebuked him for throwing them carelessly. She also wanted to get a framed picture she had taken with her dad when she was little, but discovered it had broken and her dad's face was missing. It made her sad, but Lu saw that the date on the picture was 1999 and suggested that they go and pluck the flowers from the garden in 1999. When they wanted to go and Xiao Zhao tried opening the 1999 door, everything began to shake like an earthquake was happening, and it made them realize that each of them couldn't open the door for the year that they weren't living in. Lu then opened the 1999 door and they headed to the garden. It turned out that the garden was in Xiao Zhao's father's house, and she saw her little self playing with her dad. She tried to get closer, but the earthquake with a heavy wind started again and Lu had to drag Xiao Zhao from the place. They went back home and Lu begged Xiao Zhao to open the door to 2018 so he could see his future self, but she told him he could search for it online. This made her realize that she could try calling her dad from Lu's phone since he lived in 1999 and she collected his phone. As Lu tried to search for himself online and Xiao Zhao tried to call her dad, their rooms continued to merge further again as the laptop and phone glitched, which made them stop. Later that night, Xiao Zhao introduced Lu to the new things they could do in 2018. He was surprised that, despite how poor she was, she was able to afford an assistant who was actually an AI on Xiao Zhao's phone. He made her tell the AI to get them food, and soon, a man came to deliver noodles to their house. Somewhere in 2018, a scientist was explaining a mysterious triangular space to a rich man. The triangular space was on the Earth's surface, it made ships and planes disappear whenever they passed through it. He explained that the triangle actually transported the planes and ships to another universe through a dimension. The scientist then said that, using magnetic force, they could merge two dimensions and create a passage that would make it possible for someone to travel 19 years into the future. However, the passage would be for a limited time and the person who had time traveled must not meet their future self, or else there would be instability and the passage would be deleted faster. Unknown to the scientist, the rich man wanted to travel into the future so that he would be able to steal a technology from the future and monopolize it in 2018. Meanwhile, that same night, Lu asked Xiao Zhao what had happened to her family, and she explained everything to him. She told him that her dad died when she was little in a drunk driving accident and the car burned to ashes. The only thing they could get from the accident scene was a key chain, which Xiao Zhao has kept with her since then. The next morning, Lu and Xiao Zhao both went to their respective workplaces. When Lu was at work that same day, he was in the toilet when he heard his supervisor and a co-worker hatching a plot to steal from their boss. However, 
Lou mistakenly made a noise and was discovered by his supervisor, who then told him he'd invest in his property plan if he didn't expose them. Lou's supervisor told him to sign an agreement so he could give him the investment, but Lou refused and said he couldn't. His supervisor then threatened him that he should get ready to quit as he was not really performing well on the job. Lou was concerned about the boss as the money being stolen would render him bankrupt, but Lou's supervisor gave him two weeks to think about it before making his decision. Xiao Zhao encountered her friend and former classmate at her own workplace. She had to pretend like she was rich, and that she was the owner of the shop to deceive her friend into thinking she was doing well. Her friend then invited her to a dinner at her house so she could meet Xiao Zhao's rich husband. She didn't know what to do, but she soon thought of a plan. She borrowed a suit and gave it to Lu when she got home. She told him to change into the suit and follow her. She then told him the lies he would say so as to deceive her friend into believing he was a rich man. However, Lu struggled to impress as he was not used to how things were done in 2018. He tore the tag of the suit he was wearing because he was not aware that Xiao Zhao had borrowed it. But what finally exposed them was when the diamond on the ring they had told Xiao Zhao's friend that Lu bought fell onto a hot table and dissolved. Lu and Xiao Zhao left there in shame, and Xiao Zhao was unhappy with the humiliation. Lu tried to cheer her up and offered her different foods. Xiao Zhao then told Lu that she was frustrated because she was broke and asked Lu what his own trouble was, and Lu then told her about his lack of investment. As they were talking, news was said on TV about a man who had just won 200 billion yuan in a lottery. This interested them and they decided to go into 2018 to discover the winning numbers from 1999. They would then go back into 1999 to buy the number to win the lottery. Their plan made them so happy that they decided to have fun. They moved from one year to another, visiting bars and having fun. In one bar in 1999, they saw a spinning top, and Xiao Zhao said it was a sad thing because it was like a countdown timer. But, Lu said there was a saying that if the top spun, it would make time flow backward and they would meet people they couldn't meet again. But their outings together had made them start to develop feelings for each other. On the day of the lottery, they went and bought the winning numbers, but after the winning numbers had been called out, there was something like an earthquake again and the numbers on their ticket vanished. They lost the lottery, and this made them discover that they couldn't cheat the past. Xiao Zhao, with Lu behind her, then ran to meet a bar owner whom she had dropped her bag with as collateral after she and Lu spent heavily on drinks in 2018, thinking they were in 1999. She went to beg him to give her the bag and promised to pay him, but the bar owner refused. On their way home, they were arguing when suddenly Xiao Zhao saw the 2018 Lu on an electronic billboard in front of a building. He was a very rich man. Lu went into the building, leaving Xiao Zhao outside with the guards, and he saw himself talking to an audience about properties. However, immediately after his eyes met with his 2018 version, there was an earthquake and people had to be rushed out. Something fell from the ceiling tore his hand, and immediately a scar appeared on 2018 Lu's hand. 2018 Lu too suddenly had new memories, which included Xiao Zhao. When Xiao Zhao saw what was happening, she rushed inside to grab Lu and take him back home to treat his wounded hand. While Xiao Zhao rushed in, 2018 Lu saw her and recognized her as the girl from his new memories. It turned out that 2018 Lu, who changed his name from Ming Lu to Xi Yi Lu, was actually the rich man that the scientist had been explaining time travel to. It occurred that while they were trying to open a portal to 2037, they had actually opened a portal to 1999 and that was happening. The scientist explained to him that he made some decisions that got him to where he is in 2018, but if he made different decisions in 1999 again, it could make everything he was and had in 2018 disappear. Ming Lu believed that someone had later invested in him in the future and that was why he became rich. He therefore went to reject his supervisor's investment proposal. His supervisor, however, gave him a break to think about it as the boss was already in the office. The boss had heard that the supervisor was doing some shady deals behind him and had come to question the supervisor. Shi Yi Lu went to meet Xiao Zhao at her workplace and invited her to a dinner with him. At the dinner, he told Xiao Zhao that she was hurting Ming Lu as she was making him take different decisions than the ones he had taken initially. He explained that it could lead to Ming Lu's disappearance. He promised to give her a better life if she agreed to move out of her apartment and stop distracting Ming Lu. This made Xiao Zhao sad. While dropping her off at her apartment later, Shi Yi Lu told Xiao Zhao to tell Ming Lu to accept his supervisor's proposal and continue his normal lifestyle. When Xiao Zhao got into the apartment, she pretended like everything was okay and relayed Shi Yi Lu's message to Ming Lu and told him she needed to move out so he could continue along his normal path. Ming Lu then went to accept his supervisor's investment proposal, and Shi Yi Lu bought Xiao Zhao's father's house for her, and she moved in, leaving Ming Lu sadly. However, she left, didn't close her apartment's door very well, 
and it gave Ming Lu the opportunity to be able to enter 2018 without her. Ming Lu borrowed a suit and went to visit Xiao Zhao, pretending to be Xi Yi Lu. Unknown to Ming Lu, the suit was the same one Xiao Zhao borrowed earlier and the tag he had torn was showing, which made Xiao Zhao quickly recognize that he was the one. However, she played along with his pretensions and eventually kissed him. While Ming Lu was still with her, his 1999 Nokia phone rang, and he had to excuse himself, saying he had an important meeting. He left her and they both cried, but when he got to the apartment, he shut the door to 2018 fully. It was his supervisor who called him and told him to come to the office. Unknown to Ming Lu, his supervisor had knocked out the boss after he caught the supervisor stealing from him. Ming Lu's supervisor told him to drive a car after him. He wanted to go and kill the boss with a plan that would make it look like the boss had an accident as a result of drunk driving. However, when the supervisor was about to drive the boss to his death, Ming Lu saw that the key chain of the boss was the same as the one Xiao Zhao held and said it was her father's. This made him realize that it was Xiao Zhao's father, and he struggled with the supervisor and stopped the boss from dying. Unfortunately, Xi Yi Lu had done the opposite and watched the boss burn to death, and as a result, Ming Lu's future changed and Xi Yi Lu vanished. Xiao Zhao's future also changed, and she had new memories of her father and herself. However, on her way out that day, she discovered that everything around her was going backwards. At Ming Lu's side in 1999, the same thing was happening. They soon saw each other through a glass door, but even after opening the door, they still couldn't see each other. Ming Lu saw some kids spinning a top and remembered the saying about top spinning in time. Xiao Zhao also remembered, and they both went towards a place where they could finally see each other, and they said their final goodbyes. Soon the portal closed, and they couldn't see each other again. Sometimes, later in the future, they see each other again. Xiao Zhao playfully accused Ming Lu of being a pervert and said she met one everywhere she went. Ming Lu said he wasn't one, but Xiao Zhao insisted that he was the real one. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos like this.